And that's the reason why they darken the background of the images and they put that flag in front of the, of the, the, the mark. See how the flag is interrupting the, how they call the fiducial marks. Those uh, mark the camera has these crosses. Look, right there. See how the, the flag is in front of the mark? That means that that flag was put there to cover what's in the background. And so people say, oh, but that the 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 image was is fake. No, the image is right. It's just they had to make something. They had to put a, a flag that wasn't even there from another picture to cover what's there. Look at the background. Look at that. That is a sculpture there, gigantic sculpture. Look, it's, it's just the picture is not even big enough to, the, the, the sculpture keep going up. Look at that. It's just, look at that, man. Crystal clear. Check it out. And it looked like a reptile face of faces. Look at that. That was everywhere. The same deal. Look at that. Oh boy. You don't have to go far away to find the deal. It's all up there. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Check it out. What's in the picture? Well, that's what's in the picture. There is an object or maybe that's part of the structure that is sticking out. Before I brighten up the image, I thought it was a... a an object mm, might not be, but just part of the building of the, the super gigantic sculpture. I mean, look at that, man. And it's purple, bluish purple. Well, I can tell you that, uh, see, look, the, the eyes and the stuff, the same thing that you see. Oh boy, look, look at that, the perfect geometrical patterns. It's just, the debunkers don't really know nothing exactly what this, why the, the, the lander didn't leave any marks, any, didn't lift any uh, moon regolith. They don't know nothing because they use anti-gravity. Boyd Bushman say they had, he showed a picture to David Zerida, showed him a, a 1959, they had a, a perfect functioning uh, anti-gravity engine. He showed it to him. By 1969, 10 years later, they had miniaturized that thing and better. So, of course, they're gonna put them on that thing. That's the only way to pass through the Van, the Van Allen belts, the radiation belts. In a shitty rocket, you will fry there. The only way to go to the moon is on an anti-gravity thing, because, or get out of the planet, because the radiation is, is, is intense. That's why we are in a prison planet. Unless you have that type of thing, or if you send a machine with no humans in it, because there is no way you can shield the human from that radiation with a, with a 
a little metallic DNA. The Orion capsule, the, I don't know what that thing is going to have. They, they, to send somebody to Mars in 2023, maybe. Yeah, but that's, you know, they already been through everywhere with it. Believe me. Ben Rich say in 1962, we can, we now we can travel among the stars. We can take E.T. home and no, it won't take years. Who was Ben Rich? The successor to Kelly Johnson, the, the, the skunk worker from Lucky Aeronautics. The builder, the designer and builder of the SR-71, the U-2 spy plane, and well, like I say, you heard Boy Bushman, the senior research scientist for that skunk work, talking about, in fact, he showed Davis Rida how to neutralize uh, gravity for four seconds with a simple experiment, two, two magnets tied together, screwed together in the same polarity through a, a, a aluminum pipe. He threw and it took four seconds to fall. Imagine, he neutralized the gravity for four seconds with just two simple magnets. So, the knowledge is there. They, they, these people have learned a lot, and believe me, all these 60, 70 years they haven't been sitting on their asses thinking about rocket crap. No, that's the front to see for money from the, the taxpayer idiots. It's a whole, believe me, these people have the whole technology for everything. And they have a deal cut out with these reptilian entities. They control the ones that control the solar system and everything else. When that Gary McKinnon found that ship to a non-terrestrial officer list and a picture of a, a spacecraft that didn't have any rivets, any seams. Hey, he said that thing wasn't no, that was not made here. That wasn't no. That's why they wanted to extradite him and give him 70 years. Imagine, 70 year sentence. And the guy said that he wasn't the only one snooping around inside the Pentagon's NASA computer. It was not the Pentagon's computer. It's just that they don't, people, they, they, this show showing, you know, oh, the, the unexplained NASA this and blah, blah, blah. They don't have permission to talk about it, the whole thing. To begin with, they don't mention Norman Bergrum, but as a scientist to work for NASA, he worked for Lockheed Martin, I mean for Lockheed Aeronautics. In fact, he is the one that developed the, the umbilical cord and the, for the submarine launch uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. The man was uh, super respected. But then he wrote the book when he found out that NASA was a pack of liars. They were hiding the truth. And the man was an uh, honest, honorable man. And he went and said the truth. And you do not do that. You don't cross these people. They tried to poison him. Look at that building, boy, there is an enormous structure right there. It, that's the moon horizon, and look, and it goes 
up and up. I mean, the pitcher is not high enough to get all the way through that deal. And the ground is blue, blue purplish. Look, the building is greenish, bluish, purple. Of course, look, the cross is covered by the flag because that flag was put there to cover all the shit that is on the ground. Look, the ground is structurized. And look how clear, man, just by using the settings on the TV, you can enhance the picture a lot. Because the normal picture is dark. You don't see but a dark horizon. But when you use the, the, the settings, then you get, oh yeah, you get the, what's hiding in the dark up to a point. You see how the, the flag, the cross is, 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 check it out. See, see that? That cross should be in front of the, 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 the flag. And that's what the debunkers say, oh, that is, you know, fake, no. Yeah, the flag is fake, but it's not because it's, the picture is not right. The picture is right. It's just they have to hide the crap. Who knows what's behind that thing? Probably an object or something right there that is so incredible that they have to cover it with something. So they use the flag. talking about the astronauts that died during the Apollo. Him, he died, A.Y. and Grison, because they couldn't be, con they couldn't be controlled, they, they were talking. They weren't going to be saying lies and so they had to go. That's why they murdered them, the Apollo 1. Oh, that was a terrible story. I moved over the picture to the next one. I want to really show this computer. The mouse is no vain. See, the fiducial mark is not. because of that, there is a structure behind that thing. 